Well, hey, I am here with my M103, Gotway M103. Again, I love this wheel, but I had another flat. The first uh, unrepairable flat I had occurred after about 400 miles on this wheel. I replaced the tube, and I have a video on that, and I ended up uh, having to take it to a, a local bike shop. Took two guys to get to get the new tire. I replaced the tire too to get it on the on the wheel. Really tough, and um, and the replaced tube. But this tube, uh, I don't think it even lasted 100 miles, and it was a, a kind of a blowout, meaning that air pressure disappeared from the tube within a few seconds. I suspect I know what happened, but we'll see when I open it up. But I told myself the, the last time that when this tube goes, I'm going to convert this to a tubeless. That's what I'm going to do now. I have all the tools I think I need. I'm going to try and uh, get this tube on, this tire on myself this time. So it shall be interesting. I thought you might want to see the process. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is take off this trolley handle, jury rig trolley handle. I saw someone else just recently, a picture of a in motion trolley handle mounted on an M103. That looked kind of cool. I'm trying to see if I can get just a couple more close up pictures, see how. It attaches, but um, I might do that because I can get. See, I can get one of those from Amazon for about. Uh, I think it was about forty forty-five to fifty dollars, and uh, I think that might work work for me. So we'll see. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to show all the disassembly because, uh, again, there's other videos, particularly if you, if you look at, I have a couple videos to go through the whole process of taking everything apart. So you can find those on my uh, playlist. So I will see you next when everything is opened up and I'm ready to work on the tire. Okay, get everything apart. Man, this wheel is filthy. I'm definitely gonna, once I get this fixed up, working, I'm gonna uh, give this guy a good cleaning. All right, so I just bought some of these uh, really robust tire lever levers, which hopefully will help. It might be too big though, but uh, that I'd, give, that I'd give them a try. Beginning to beginning to remember remember why I said I'm never gonna do this again myself. <laughs> we'll see.
and I just have to get one more section up. There. I think that's the worst of it now. Those are nice. They, don't, they definitely don't feel like they're going to break. <laughs> like sometimes the small ones do. I know enough to say this is not that uh, the worst is not over yet. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what uh, what what failed in this tube. slime in the tube by the way I thought for sure uh, this is gonna be where it failed that's where it failed another tube interesting Saw that if you saw that video, uh, there's a lot of a lot of air that got out of this tube pretty quick. Interesting, nothing obvious. I'm going to have to fill this with uh, oh, here's a little puncture sign coming out. That's the puncture. It's kind of a um, definitely looks like the size of. Slime should have fixed. It's kind of kind of on the side. Oh well. I think I'm. Either case, I'm going to look forward to having a a tubeless tire. Slime does not always. Uh, Repair tubes. I mean, definitely had. I had uh, my ACM. I had a gash in that tube. I had to patch that, and uh, 
M Super or the King Song 18 XL had a couple punctures in it. One of them high up near the valves, so um, slime def definitely doesn't not work for those. But my view is slime is better than nothing when I give it a shot. Okay. I could not. I'm going to take this tube off fully. And I should have taken it off the other side. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Oh well, and take take this uh, manhandle this off again so I can clean everything up before I start the conversion process. Okay, get the tire off. It really wasn't that hard. Get it off the other side, and uh, so now, and there'll be links to all, links to all this below in the description on the video. I have the new tubeless valves and they won't fit through this hole right now. So I need to drill this out. I'm going to use 11 30 seconds of an inch drill bit. Let's see if I can do this without clamping. about metal. It's really hard to clamp this so to avoid this. So I'm just going kind of slow if I can. I'm through. That's pretty quick. I'm just going to test the fit. Okay, looks like it's going to be good enough. So I'm going to do uh, Vacuum this up and deburr it. I'm gonna to have to pull this through, and if there's any ragged edges, obviously it's gonna just uh, tear this rubber. Be back in a moment. Okay, I'm just using a small, fine metal filing. Metal file, and uh, just going around the edge here. I already did, did it the other side. This hole it still looks small for the, the valve, but I was told that this is the size to use, and actually, when you look at it, there's really, there's really no more room to make a bigger hole anyway. But I imagine this, this has to obviously be very snug fit, otherwise this is going to leak air. Follow us up with BF. This is a 240 sandpaper for metal. This I'm, I'm not as worried about, but it's pretty smooth. I think 
that's good. Let me see if we can get this valve in there. Okay, now the fun part. So I have this valve, and I know this is not the ideal valve. They sell mini versions of this. But again, I'm, I'm buying this off a recommendation of what was actually used. So I'm going to give this a try. Now, I've also I've already had some difficulties. Here's the valve puller that came with the kit with this. And this fits here, but this is just too big to fit in here. And this, this is coming in at an angle, so I just cannot attach this. Ah, impossible. I've tried using some string to wrap around to kind of pull and the string broke. That's not going to work. But then it occurred to me I can use one of these one inch, one and a quarter inch valve extenders. And that actually works. So I can put this in here enough to screw it on. Then I can screw this on and I can pull like hell. <laughs> I've already tried this and it does not it just does not look like it's going to come through. Again I'm going to try not to um, clamp this motor down yet. I might have to go go that route if I have to with both hands pull on it. Uh, but the first thing what I'm gonna do is I have this boiling water. I put boiling water in here with uh, some um, dishwashing soap, so it'll be. So I'm trying to soften this up and then lubricate it at the same time. I'm going to give that another five minutes of soaking and then I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try and be quick so I don't, this doesn't cool off too much when I put this on. And uh, we're going to see how it works. Okay, the moment of truth. It. Oh god, that was <laughs> that was fun. Not really, but uh, whew. oh boy. <laughs> so uh, you can see it. Well, first hurdle done. Uh, <laughs> I think if I can do that, hopefully I'm going to be able to get this on. Now I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to um, use uh, soapy water and I'm going to put this in a sink with hot boiling water basically and just pre-soften it. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, the moment of truth. The tire has been soaking for probably 15 minutes in hot water. I put this on the floor. It's going 
kind of messy. easy. Yeah, that was real easy actually. That's going to be a good sign. Let's see. None of you guys can laugh unless you've done this yourself. So close. Is on absolutely amazing wow I can tell you definitely uh, I think the secret is uh, hot water and hot soapy water I'm gonna wanna let this dry at some level but I'm gonna see if I can fill the tire real quick works. It's filling but not sealing. secret to uh, it's like it has to somehow has a seal and I don't know how to do that time to probably Google when I find out what next to do. Okay, 
success. Sorry, I didn't get get in and um, film, but it was kind of a long process. Nothing magical. Essentially, what you what you need to do to get this to seal is that the rubber needs to be pressed up, not tightly, but it needs to be sitting against the rim on both sides and that wasn't the case. So it was really a matter of kind of squeezing in the center of the tire and then using my fingers to kind of pull a bit which would kind of which would pull this against the rim. And of course doing that would sometimes push it away from this side so it's just a lot of doing this, rotating it, rotating it, switching around, rotating it. After about uh, 10 minutes of doing that, I was able to get a good enough seal. And when I put the, the pressure in, it, it immediately pulled it tight. And again, about 40 pounds in here. It's been in here about two hours so far and uh, no leaks, it's, it's holding great. So I'm really happy with that. Hopefully that's gonna help my flat situation. I'm gonna uh, be putting, I'll empty this and put, uh, I don't know, at least four ounces of slime in here. Four to six ounces, something like that. The tubeless slime. And then I'm gonna clean up the wheel and I'm gonna paint it. And then give it a nice, interesting color. It's probably going to take a week or so, but uh, in about five seconds, you will see the results. Well, here it is, my new M103. Well, looks pretty nice, huh? I'm, um, I'm really happy with how it came out. So I painted, I took all the pads off, painted them flat black. And I use the same paint for the pedals, flat black, and I repainted my uh, trolley handle. I have a separate video on how I made this trolley handle and attached it. You can check that out if you want. And the pads, I didn't, like this one's torn up, but uh, I mean I didn't go through that for trying to buy new pads. This happened within the first month of when I bought the wheel. And I think I was just grabbing onto it too tightly with my ankles and nothing's changed uh, in the well over a year since I've been using this wheel. All in all, really happy with how it came out. The The red is, uh, is an apple red, gloss apple red. And uh, I think just think the, the red and black is a perfect, com perfect combination. And I even treated the the tire. Now you guys can you can buy this uh, this tire cleaner, shiner upper stuff for your car, and you know you just spray it on. This particular one is a foaming, just from Turtle Wax. Uh, it foams up, so you just basically spray it on the tire and you leave it, and just gently you know wipe off the excess. But it, it gives it that that tire that nice new look. You know how your tires look when you take them out of the box when they're brand new. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it feels like a new wheel. Let's take it outside and see what it looks like in the sun. Ah, nice to have the M103 back tubeless. It'll be interesting to see how that works over time. So I don't have to worry about the tube breaking on me. Of course, I have slime in it. So uh, let me know what you think about this red, red and black look. Today, God wish you'd come out with more interesting colors like this for the wheels, I think. But it's really easy to paint, paint your wheels. Uh, the shelves really take, they take paint uh, really nicely. Yeah, gonna enjoy this. Wonder how how many years am I going to get out of this M103, or at least until they come out with an M10, uh, an M104? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, 
hope you found the the video interesting inspirational for you if you want to maybe paint your wheel or uh, convert your m103 to uh, tubeless all right see you guys later